Oh, oh man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you're trying to get me in trouble, man. <laughs> right about there. Right leg. Yeah. Just straight open up that side joint. I can go there, try oh, I want wow. To. I feel like I feel taller. <laughs> you look taller. Now you're like, awesome. <laughs> What's going on out there in YouTube land? Today we are here with the main man, NBA veteran, uh, veteran of three Final Fours, also a prince of an African village. We are here with the man, Luke Bahamute. So, so what brought you out to Vegas, man? Just hanging out, man. Just, just getting the line, man. Yeah, coming out and see you to get a line. Just trying to get ready for the off season. And you said your brother sent you some clips. Yeah, my brother actually, you know, told me about you um, and sent me some clips, and I saw like the the hammer, and I was like, man, I got I got to try that. Try it out. Yeah, for and sure. We had a, we had a little mishap. He actually was in Albuquerque yesterday. Yeah. Today, but they got to eat at uh, Los Poblanos. Field, they enjoyed the food. Yeah, yeah awesome. Might have awesome. to go back to Albuquerque awesome. someday now. now yeah, I never know I will be in Albuquerque, but I mean, yeah. I enjoyed my time there. It was really good. You know, go. I gotta come check you out there though. There we go. And this is a man who's traveled the world too, so he's seen it all. He's done it all. He's eaten it all. Place. So if he's if he's co-signing, it must be a good deal. Good place. Um, so today we're gonna work on him. Just get him lined up, ready for the next season. Doesn't have anything major going on. Uh, really, just a wellness check of him, make sure the alignment is good, just so his body's ready. And you know, he's been playing ball a long time, and he's just doing the wellness thing, making sure he's feeling great. Yep. Reach down towards your foot. Oh. And shrug back up and reach down. Oh. So you said you were how old when you moved to the States? 15, okay. going 16. It's so, supposed to hurt like that? Yeah. Oh. And keep going. Uh. You grew up speaking English too? Nah, man. Now you learn here? French. Uh, we have our version of like pigeon. But I mean, <laughs> mainly French and like pigeon French or pigeon English. No, pigeon French and okay. pigeon English. It's like mix actually, and then uh, my traditional language, Bafia. What does that sound like? Say hi. I love Las Vegas. It's my favorite place to go lose money. I don't like to lose money. But <laughs> <laughs> it's my favorite place to ball out and make money. I can say in KC Las Vegas, uh, Las Vegas a lot de Okay. <laughs> Sounds fancy. Sounds yeah. good. Sounds very fancy. So when did you start playing basketball? What age? Uh, 14. 14? I, I started late. I was playing football. Okay. Oh, soccer. Soccer. Yeah. Everybody in camera would play soccer. Right. Uh, that's it. That's how we start. And then um, I started late because my brother went to a different school and they had basketball. And then I got good really quick, so. I heard you helped find a lot of other talent out of there, too. Yeah. So, like, once I made it to the league, like, I just started, like, going back and helping other kids and trying to help them make it as well, you know? So kind of like pass it on type of thing. So who are some of the people that like, you help find? Uh, I mean, the guys in the NBA, uh, Joel, Joel Embiid, Pascal, they came to the camp. You know, a couple of the kids, like some of them, like borderline, my brother, Roger Mute, another kid, Landry Noko, he was with the Detroit. We got a bunch of other kids who came into college here. And make it to the league, but like they got a chance to come here and like do something, you know. Get school paid for. Yeah, 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 for sure. That's a, you know, that's a, it's a big opportunity. Yeah, man. Comparatively, so you help one kid in Africa, man. You help the whole village. There you go. So, so we have a, a buddy of ours in New Mexico. He actually played for New Mexico, but he's from South Sudan, and he said the same thing. You have all these really tall, athletic kids out there playing football, soccer. Yeah. And then when one of them goes and plays basketball, they're like, wait a second. And then you get these rec recruiters show up. Yeah. It's like, yeah. what was that movie? Air the Air Up There? Yeah, up there, yeah. <laughs> so it feels stuck right there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one's a little bit there. This one right here. Yeah, for sure. Okay. All right. So I'm going to hold that for about 20 seconds and we're going to adjust it. And by the way, folks, we're in the presence of royalty. I don't, I don't like I don't like it because then the, the questions about coming to America is gonna pop up and it's nothing like it for sure. So I can tell you already I don't have my face on the money. <laughs> I don't have people throwing rose petals. Watching the ro the royal member? No, <laughs> no, it's not like it's that. not like that. No, it's a, a a village. A village, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Ah, oh, yeah, that's tight. So we're gonna adjust that low edge. So bring it right there. Ugh. There 
There we go. How's that? Yeah, it's much better. Okay, I'm gonna clear this right there. Drop your left shoulder down. Good. There we go. All right, and turn your head to the left all the way. So you've been on quite a few teams. What, what's your favorite city to live in? Ah, man. I mean, I like LA just because I went to college in LA. I went to UCLA. So That's a bougie neighborhood, man. It is. It's right across the street from Bel Air. It is, you know, it's fun. Like, you know, when you're dead, you don't realize how great it is. Yeah, how nice that area is. Until you leave it, but. It's better than USC. <laughs> that's for sure. But yeah, I like, I like LA just because I'm, you know, it's kind of like home away from home. I'm very familiar with that. Like, I like Houston. Houston's a great city. Yeah, I like Houston a lot too. Great food. Yeah. I said it's like the most, like, equally diverse city in the country. It's like a quarter Latino, a quarter Asian, a quarter white, and a quarter black. Oh, wow. I didn't even know it's that. It's like equally distributed, like more than any other big city. Yeah, no, it's, a, it's a cool city. Yeah. It's a cool I'm city. I'm a big fan of Houston. Yeah. So you were in the bubble? I was, yeah. How was that? Was that weird? It was cool. It was weird, but um, it was just really game practice, game practice, so it went by really fast. How were the accommodations? They give you guys like really nice hotels? Uh, I mean, it was cool. I mean, it's not like the, the hotels we usually get. Oh, so it's not that good. For the situ no, it was good. Like for the situation, it was cool. Okay. Because uh, these you know, fighters that are going to like the fight island, they got the W, they got a whole giant suite, oh, you know, in the United Emirates. I, so we got the Disney hotels, which were, you know, they were good. Touristy. Uh, yeah, touristy. For the time being, the situation, it, you know, we made it work, it was cool. It was kind of cool. We were watching the games, like how they, the technology, they were able to sync up like the home team with the crowd noise. That was kind of oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, you can hear it. I mean, we kind of got used to it by the end. Right. Like, it felt like, okay, like, at first it was weird, like really crazy. <laughs> it's like, like, okay, just, let's go into this like, gym for practice yeah, and then it's like, a real game. But then like by the end, it's like, you know, they, they turn the sound up and it feels like, it's weird. It's like a pickup game with like fan noise or whatever. But <laughs> And it gets competitive, you know, most guys are playing, yeah. like, you know, it's, you know. A bunch of competitors, right? Like, yeah. not trying to lose. So you've, you've seen this one on traction? No. Okay, this is going to decompress your whole spine. Okay. Right. Try to relax as much as possible there. Oh! <laughs> you feel that one all the way down? Oh, yeah. Am I supposed to? Yeah. It's supposed to oh. go your tailbone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> You felt it open? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, man. See that? Unexpected. That's when your brother didn't send you? No, he didn't send me that. <laughs> Flip over on your stomach. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, no. That's intense. Oh. That's the adjustment you never had before? No, that's intense. That, 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 that decom... Uh, how did you call that adjustment? Decompression. Decompression. So it's like, what, a low in a vertebrae or something? Exactly. From all the impact and jumping and everything like that. So any other adjustments you do are rotational. Mm -hmm. So they'll, they'll allow you to rotate better, but nothing else can take off the impact from like jumping and impact. The, the pounding and all that. Yeah. So you know like the traction machines that stretch you? It's yeah, like that, but yeah. with, with movement. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. I feel like I'm still feeling <laughs> What's it he say, uh, chisel? Pincel. Mm -hmm. Uh, wow. mm -hmm. Doesn't that mean you word? Yeah, no, it might be that, but I don't know. Keep this leg straight and raise it up as high as you can. You can see it's rotated right. Right hip is higher. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. Bring it down. And then right leg. Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. Can you see how his right hip is up in the air compared to the left? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't I can even see how like this like You see it? Yeah, yeah. it's just side. So let's do that one again. So Left leg, keep it straight, raise it up as high as you can. Right about there. Bring it down. And then right leg. Yeah, yeah. Very short right there. Yeah, so bring it down. I feel like right there. Mm-hmm. This bt has got a hammer though. Is it me to raise Oh, I've seen this one. Yeah. Seen the videos on this one? Yeah. TikTok. Man's the king of TikTok. Now on TikTok, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, like 27 million views or something. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Try this one again? Huh? Mm -hmm. Which one? Okay. The right side? Oh. Better. Yeah. Okay. That was easier? Yeah, it was easier. Oh. 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 
Let's do that one again. Try again. Like, ah, so they can go yeah, oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. That's much better. Wow. You saw? Yeah, it was, yeah. It, it was easier, right? Like, yeah, yeah, lighter. Yeah. We can send you guys yeah. a close with it. Nice and wet, Matt. Yeah. So sometimes the pelvic bone here too. tilts posteriorly. And and that's where you get it. stuck. There. That's why this is like higher. Gotcha. So while I hit me, you're trying to get it back into place. Right. right. It's a more specific yeah, right. manipulation. Let me try, gotcha. try one more time. 80, 90% of people get yeah. better. Oh, wow. That's good. Yeah. Perfect. And that's just bony rotation. That's not even treating the muscle. Yeah. yeah. A little bit of cross too. And then we'll bring his L5 to the left. Here? Yeah. Just straight open up that SI joint. Right. That way a little more. A little bit of PA on L5. PDA. With a little bit of lateral movement to it. Yeah. Dr. G's got a precise these days, he's got precision. My powers are and yeah, powers doubled. are growing. Have yeah, doubled since the last time we met. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Take it again. Try one more time. Which one? The right? There you go. Whoa. Yeah, they both are better. That yeah, that improved the left side. Yeah, it feels lighter. Do the right one one more time? Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, that's good. Pick your head up just a little bit. Good. <clears throat> so the good thing about Luke is he's not really dealing with any injuries right now. He's just in for an alignment maintenance. So, uh, you know, the straighter we can get his spine and his body, the more his body's going to be able to hold up to the wear and tear of, you know, the season of putting his body on people, grabbing boards and all that other fun stuff. Right down. So then did you grow up watching basketball? You know what? Not really. I mean, I started watching basketball late. I got played late. Like uh, high school. But... You know, I watched like the '90 Bulls, um, so it was cool to see that. Yeah. Was a documentary on Netflix? Oh yeah, man. So the it? question is, was that intentional? You know, LeBron's going for another ring this year for COVID. We got a ten-part documentary series directed by Jordan. I heard it wasn't supposed to come out until next year. <laughs> That's what I heard. So the rest of it, I don't. That know. man is competitive. I don't know. So he's got to let the young kids know. It's MJ, though. That's what know. it was about. It's like, hey, young guys. Y'all must have forgotten. Yeah, he said Roy, Roy, yeah, Roy yeah. Jones Jr. Y'all must, must have forgot. <laughs> just, just a reminder. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny, I was hearing an argument though on the radio because this guy was like, you guys are always saying Jordan this, Jordan that. And he's like, my grandpa used to say, who was Jordan? Kareem, Will, you know, Bill yeah, Russell. Yeah. That was the argument. Talk like, about who you watch. You know? Yeah, so it's whoever but you grew up with. People forget a lot though. And then 15 years before that, 10 years before that, oh, Larry, Magic. Yeah, yeah. People forget though, that's for sure. So he just... He's like, you're not going to forget me. Him. You're never going to forget sure. me. <laughs> Stand up, take a few steps. Oh, the ultimate killer competitor. Ooh. Hey, stand up taller. I feel like I feel taller. <laughs> you look <laughs> taller. Huh? You look taller. Now you're like, that's awesome. <laughs> like two inches or something. Are you just standing up all the way like you're supposed to? No, actually, nah, I, yeah. feel, I feel taller. Yeah. Like, taller. taller. The room looks different. Oh, no. <laughs> you look taller. I mean, you're the same height. You're just standing all the way up. No, I mean, I just, I just feel, I feel like I'm good. I, I, you know, like, like, like upright. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Perfect. That's good. And you want to sit right there? Sit. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. I don't even want to sit. <laughs> He's like, I don't want to sit. I want to stand up and enjoy this. <laughs> all right, go hand on your hip like that. Yeah. Pull that elbow back pretty hard. There we go. There right, we got it. Same thing here. Good. All right, this arm's gonna go right here. Go in and out with it like that. Like this? Yeah. I'm gonna hook right there. Oh. Keep moving it. Who's your favorite teammate to play with? It's tough, man. I don't know good teammates, man. Yeah. You but who's your favorite? If you could just say who's your best friend on a team. You're trying to get me in trouble, man. <laughs> uh, man. I play for a lot of teams. Who's your boy? Uh, on which team? I don't know. Whoever, team. whoever. The whole time you've been in the league or college. Who texts you right, most? So I was, I was, I was, I was just back with the Rockets and I was back with Russ. Okay. So me and Russ. You guys play college together. Yeah, so you guys been college. boys for a long so, time. Yeah. So we've been boys. So that was my recent. Was that Kevin Love? Kevin was on that team. Yeah. Uh, Darren Collison. Whew. Uh, Alfred yeah, Boya. You, uh, you guys should have had some rings, actually. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, we went to. Not to rub it in, but yeah, you should have. Yeah, you bringing back crazy memories, man. Mm. Oh, you got all the Final Four gear. 
It's supposed to hurt like that? Yeah. Uh, and you'll feel it fade off in about 15. Mm. Yeah. There you go. Okay. You open this up too. See how that right shoulder's dragging forward a little bit? The hammer, huh? The hammer. With the bobber. The big bobber. I'm reaching with it too? Yeah. Can it reach all the way across the room? You want me to reach? From here, go back like this. Yeah. It's already pretty good. Yeah. Just a little bit. Keep reaching. Keep reaching. Back? Yeah. yeah. Can I move that around? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. That looks good? Yeah, much looser. Yeah, it's a lot better there. Yeah. That was that crack? Hmm? <laughs> that was a crack? <laughs> yeah, 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 that's your shoulder resetting. Oh, wow. Okay. Super pop? Yep. Yeah. Both hands here. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. Move them right here. Move your feet a little lighter. Put them here? Yep. Yeah. Oh! Excellent. Man. Didn't think I could get six eight. <laughs> <laughs> I could do it. <laughs> Man. All right, tilt your body to the left. Here. Uh huh. And then come back to center. And then back again. And center. And again. And center. And again. Good. And then to the right. And center. And again. Good. And we got. There's the tightness. Mm, yeah. So that's a spot you're gonna need to work on your own too. Yeah, yeah that's tight. Just gotta clear the rest of this out. Even on the left side. Yep, that torque, mm -hmm. that rotation. All the pieces you, just know, you just know it was yeah. tight. You just put your hand there, you know it was tight, huh? Yep. <clears throat> well, oh. we're, we're, we're connecting it with what we saw when you were laying down too with your pelvic rotation. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. So. Gotcha. so most likely was going to be. Not always, but gotcha. from what we saw, what we needed to hammer on your hips, most like the muscle was tight on this side. There we go. All right, a few steps. Make sure your stuff feels super tall. <laughs> <laughs> I feel open though, like on my shoulders. Mm -hmm. I just looked at this one like, a few years ago, so. Yeah, it's, it's just like good. really open now. Yeah, motion looks good, standing upright. I still feel tall. <laughs> still feel tall. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Perfect. This is good. Yeah. Same thing over here. There we go. Now you're going to have me wanting to get on the court after this now. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go, champ. <laughs> Let's go, champ. All right, feel good? Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. All right, where can they find you on social media? About Mute, Instagram. Go give them a follow, show them some love. Show some love. So, Perfect. appreciate it, my man taking care yeah, of me. Absolutely. Getting me right for the off season. I'm about yeah. to get ready for that See you next season coming up, so. It's, it's going down. It is. It's going yeah. down. Anywhere else you want to direct them to, charities? You know, we're working on a project. Uh, it's a, a athletic brand for Africa, uh, geared towards Africa. It's inspired by Africa. There's all in it's called Lembo. Okay. So everybody, you know, go check it out. It's called Lembo Sports. So. It's coming out pretty soon, but you know, uh, that's what we're doing. If you feel it in your heart to go support it, we appreciate that. Support, yeah. Um, so he does a lot of support for, for his homeland back in Cameroon. Also, his buddy Francis was just here earlier, Francis and Ghana, yeah. so they're probably gonna work on some stuff together as well. Um, you know, these guys are always going back, giving back to the country, trying to help people, you know, come to America, get free education, give them an opportunity to, to be as successful as they have been. So man, give these guys some support, follow them on social media, um, and if it's in your heart to go help with these, these organizations there, please do.